Hello everyone. Today I'm making a video about um, worming dogs with diatomaceous earth. I've already made a video on worming cats on, with diatomaceous earth and I'll link that in the description box below. But I've had a lot of people ask me if it's the same for cats as it is for dogs and it is other than measurements. Um, but it, the process is the same and everything it's just you know, the, the measurements would be the only thing that's different. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I worm my dogs. I've been worming my dogs for about 13 years with diatomaceous earth, um, a long time, and it really does work. It's just amazing stuff. But anyways, here um, I'm going to mix up some in, I had boiled some chicken uh, with some vegetables and stuff uh, yesterday, and that's what my dogs had for dinner. So today this is leftovers, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this chicken broth into, and a little bit of chicken here. I'm just taking a little bit of chicken. Um, you can do it either way. It can just be broth, or it can be wet food, or it could be yogurt or milk or anything, just something liquidy. And um, I just spoon it into a, a dish and then I'm gonna add this I think I'm gonna do Roxy first and I'd say she's probably 45 or 50 pounds so I'm gonna do one teaspoon and I do a heaping teaspoon of diatomaceous earth and um, it's not huge heaping but just you know heaping and and it doesn't have to be real precise it doesn't matter if it's a little bit more or a little bit less but uh, I'd go on a little bit more than I would a little bit less. And anyways, you just mix it up real good. And it's kind of chalky, but I haven't had any problems with my dogs ever eating it. Uh, mix, mix it really good. And then we'll take it over to Roxy real quick and I'll show you how good she eats it. Now this is Roxy. Um, she, like I said, she's about 45 or 50 pounds. And she absolutely loves this. She'll scarf it right up. And it's, it's just so good for their coat. They're getting trace minerals in it and a silica, all kinds of good stuff for them. I mean, it's not just the worming. It's got a lot of other health benefits to it. Now, I'm going to do, I'm mixing up a bigger one. This one's going to be for, I think this is for Duke. And he's 220 pounds, uh, Great Pyrenees. And so for him... I'm going to use a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon, and I think about a half here, a tablespoon and a half. And um, he could actually probably do two tablespoons, but I've been warming him a lot lately, so I'm just gonna do a tablespoon and a half. And now he just got broth. I didn't give him any chicken. I was gonna save some chicken for later for dinner, but um, just mix it up really good and there's a few little clumps in there and everything now i mix it in juice and take it for me myself and um like the chalky part really isn't that bad my dogs never mind it they always look it up i've never had a pet that didn't like it now this is duke and like i said he's about 220 pounds last i had him weighed and he loves it. He just licks it right up. And that's big old dookie. And it's so good for him. He's getting a little bit older. I think he's like nine, eight or nine. And he's just now starting to get a little bit of like stiff joints. So I'll probably start giving him a lot more of the, the diatomaceous earth. Because it's got a lot of silica in it. It's just so good for joints. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix up another batch, and this is going to be for Wiley. And I would say he's probably 60, 70 pounds maybe. So I'm giving him a teaspoon and a half, and he could probably do two teaspoons, but I've been warming him a lot lately too, so uh, a teaspoon and a half is enough. No. Roxy, you already had yours. Come on. Come on, Roxy. Get your crate. Get your crate. 
Come on, bud. Get in your crate. Good girl. You wait. You wait. You already had yours. Just wait, babe. Just wait. This is Wiley's turn. Wiley. Wiley Coyote. Come on, Wiles. Wiley. Come here. No, Scarlet. That's Wiley's. Well, like I said, I have not had a dog ever not like the diatomaceous earth, especially mixed with something tasty like that. They just lap it right up. Okay, so the next one I'm uh, measuring out for, I think, is going to be Scarlet. And she's, she's a small dog, but she's pretty hefty. So I'm giving her like a teaspoon and a half, too. Um, she's probably 50 pounds, close to it. Um, She's real stocky. Okay, so this is Scarlet, and like I said, she's a small dog, but I mean, when I go to pick her up, it takes everything in me. It's like picking up a 50 pound sack of feed, so I know she's about 50 pounds, maybe 40, <laughs> but she's pretty stout. Okay, so Scarlet makes dog number four, who is lapping it right up, and I'll move over to Pearl, which is going to make dog number five, and there's my kitty. She was wanting some crazy Roxy, wanting out of her crate. She says, open the door, Mom. Come on. Okay, so here I'm mixing up pearls, and Pearl is really hefty. Uh, she is a blue healer, and um, she's, I would say she's probably about 50 pounds too. Um, maybe even 60, 65. I'm going to give her two scoops. Um, she's been scooting her butt a couple times, and she's my warmiest dog half the time. She's, she's, anytime they pick up worms it's always pearl that's going to get worms so she's just I, I worm her a lot but um i'm just mixing it in there with some broth and there's pearl there's my pearl and she absolutely loves this stuff and she will lap it right up and she's a she's a good eater any anyway she loves everything come on come on pearl um Show everybody how much you like it. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, you got there, Pearl. Oh, Pearl loves hers. Pearl's a tad tat. She's really chubby. As you can see how chubby she is. I'd say she's probably about 50, 50, 60 pounds maybe. She's pretty chubby. Well, Pearl makes dog number five. It just laps it right up. Um, like I said, I've never met a dog or a cat that didn't didn't eat it for me, and all the, all my customers that you know buy my blend from me, um, I've never had a complaint. I've never had not one fussy eater not eat it. Hello, my name is Pearl. It's just really really good stuff. It's super easy to administer, and um, it works. I warm my dogs, like I said, once a week, and but I've been doing it that way for a long time. But if you very first get your diatomaceous earth and you've never warmed your dog before, I suggest warming them for a full seven to ten days each day, and that will really clear them out and clean them out. And then once you've done that, you can go to once a week. You could go to once a month. You could, you know, you you wouldn't have to. Uh, do it daily if you don't want to and now i've done it daily um but i found once a week is best for the way i do things and it's uh it just frees up their immune system to not have parasites in them all the time and and animals and humans too are going to pick up parasites there's just no way to not get parasites no matter if you walk out in the dirt you can pick them up so you just, you know, you need to be constantly deworming your pets and deworming yourself. I mean, like I said, I even drink this too myself and I, I made a video on how I take it and I can leave that in the description box uh, below too. 
But yeah, this is how I warm my dogs and it's pretty simple. Um, it's just an amazing way to do it. No chemicals, no making them sick or anything like that. It's 100% natural. It completely benefits them, gives them silica and 17 trace minerals. Just great stuff. But anyways, if you found any value out of this video, um, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos coming. Thanks. Bye.